Well, good morning. Let's bless the Lord together. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Share together Psalm 21. The Lord, the King shall rejoice in your strength, O Lord. How greatly shall he rejoice in your salvation. You have given him his heart's desire and have not denied the request of his lips. For you come to meet him with blessings of goodness and set a crown of pure gold on his, upon his head. He asked of you life and you gave it him, length of days forever and ever. His honour is great because of your salvation. Glory and majesty have you laid upon him. You have granted him everlasting felicity and have made him glad with joy in your presence. The king puts his trust in the Lord because of the loving kindness of the Most High. He shall not be overthrown. Your right hand shall mark down all your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them like a fiery oven in the time of your wrath. The Lord will swallow them up in his anger and fire will consume them. Their fruit you will root out of the land and their seed from amongst its inhabitants. Because they intend evil against you and devise wicked schemes which they cannot perform, you will put them to flight when you aim your bow at their faces. Be exalted, O Lord, in your own might. We will make music and sing of your power. This psalm speaks of the ultimate triumph of the Lord. He answers our prayers and he's promised us everlasting felicity. One day he will judge the wicked. He has everlasting faithfulness to us and he will keep his promises to judge the world. We thank him that we have put our trust in his loving kindness and we trust in him to care for us. Psalm 47 Clap your hands together, all you peoples, O oh, sing to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared, for he is the great King over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He has chosen our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth, sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For the powers of the earth belong to God and he is very highly exalted. There's something to remember through this day. The powers of earth belong to God. Amen. Short reading from Numbers, Numbers 21, verses 4 to 9. From Mount Hor they set out by way to the Red Sea to go to the land of Eden. But the people became impatient on the way. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent poisonous serpents amongst the people, and they bit the people, so that many Israelites died. So people came to Moses and said, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord to take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a poisonous serpent and set it on the pole. And everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live. So Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it up on a pole, that wherever the serpent bit someone, the person would look at the serpent of bronze and live. Of course, here is a picture of Jesus. We are those who are under God's judgment because of our sin. The snake of sin bites us and is going to lead us to death. However, God has raised up a bronze serpent the Lord Jesus Christ raised up on the cross just as in the old times if people looked at the serpent of bronze in faith they lived when we look to Jesus on the cross and put our trust in him we live the old hymn writer uh, writing on this said look and live my brother live look to Jesus now and live 
it is recorded in his word hallelujah it is only that you look and live luke 7 18 to 35 the disciples of john reported all these things to him so john summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the lord to ask are you the one who is to come or are we to wait for another when the men had come to him they said john the baptist has sent us to ask you are you the one who is to come or are we to wait for another jesus had just then cured many people of diseases plagues and evil spirits and had given sight to many who were blind and he answered them go and tell john what you have seen and heard the blind receive their sight the lame walk the lepers are cleansed the deaf hear the dead are raised the poor have good news brought to them and blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me when john's messengers had gone jesus began to speak to the crowds about john what did you go into the wilderness to look at a reed shaken by the wind what then did you go out to see someone dressed in soft robes look those who put on fine clothing and live in luxury are in royal palaces what then did you go out to see a prophet yes i tell you i'm more than a prophet this is the one about whom it is written see i am sending my messengers ahead of you who will prepare your way before you i tell you among those born of women no one is greater than john yet the least in the kingdom of god is greater than he and all the people who heard this including the tax collectors acknowledged the justice of god because they have been baptized with john's baptism but by refusing to be baptized with him the pharisees and lawyers rejected god's purpose for themselves to what then shall i compare the people of this generation what are they like they are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another we played the flute for you and you did not dance we wailed and you did not weep for john the baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine you say he has a demon the son of man has come eating and drinking and you say look a glutton and a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners nevertheless wisdom is vindicated by all her children the proof of the pudding i guess is in the eating john the baptist sent disciples to jesus and jesus said look what's going on and answering his critics he said look you criticize john because he fasted you criticize me because i eat and drink but the proof of the pudding is in the eating wisdom is vindicated by all her children the gospel message is vindicated by what it produces in us and what it produces in others lord we pray that we may be faithful to you that lord your purposes will be fulfilled in us and we will be vindicated by the fruit you produce from us in jesus name we lift up this day and its tasks we pray for the work day at central baptist that this will indeed be a great time of fellowship and lord we trust that you will be present amongst us as we share in these tasks together in jesus name we pray amen